Hi, I'm Larry. I'd like to introduce to you the first jug fishing pole on the market. And the name of it is Larry Jug Pole. This is a 10 foot, 100% fiberglass, telescopic medium action pole with a 13 inch foam handle, which adds comfort for using both hands or one hand. The tip also has a special design hook on it, which is yellow in color. And it's very visible during the daytime as well as nighttime with light. The junk pole adds a lot of excitement, uh, convenience, and action for all ages. So visit our website at www.jugfishingpole.com and check out all the excitement. Thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Larry, and uh, I like to try to create some type of a, a how-to video about how to approach and uh, grab the uh, noodle or jug with the jug pole. Uh, so right now, I got my trolling motor. You can use your regular motor, your, your gas motor, or your trolling motor to approach them. The difference is using the trolling motor, you approach it at a slower pace, and using your gas motor, you approach it at a lot faster pace. Um, so that's something you have to get used to doing, as well as uh, the distance by approaching the, the noodle. Sometimes you may think the pole is too short, as well as too long, and well, that's basically how you approach the noodle. Um, and that's something that you'll get used to doing, and then you'll uh, know the distance to approach it. Of course, a lot of times you have no uh, choice because the fish could be a pretty strong fish. It could take off one way or the other, and you just may have to take a, make a couple of tries to catch it. But basically, we're just trying to catch up to it right now. We're using our um, trolling motor. And that depends on how strong your trolling motor is, how fast you can get to it. But right now, he's running out running. <laughs> but we're going to get him. He's got a little spunk in him. He's not really just bobbing it up and down. He's just taking off. I'm sure he hears vibration in the electric motor. But the best thing to do is get your pole set up to where you're yellow hook is toward the noodle. If you're going to go approach the noodle this way, have your hook toward the noodle. And if you're going to approach it this way, have it approaching the noodle this way. You can't grab a noodle with the back side of the hook. You have to have the hook facing the noodle when you start to grab it. And of course you can see that it's very visible during the daytime. And it's very visible at night if you have a spotlight or a light on it. But with this to grab this noodle, just reach up on it, and you got it. Always hold back on your pole. Don't worry about grabbing up high. Just keep both hands on the back side of the foam, and um, bring it in. He's a little tired. You got your catfish. I call it, that's a good eating size. Good fillet for catfish right there. Okay. Well, we got some other noodle running. Looks like he's a pretty good one. He's doing some pretty good pulling on it. Hands them up real good when they're in deep water. He's in about 12 foot of water, six foot line. We call them over about eight foot of water. I like to put six foot lines in about eight foot of water. Yeah, he's going under. He's a pretty good one. That's what I like about these average size noodles. Of course, you got your pole out right here. You got your hook toward the noodle. I'm gonna come across it. Think you're about ready? Underneath it, grab it, pull it. Up. Of course, he's a pretty good one. He's a little tired. He's been dragging a while. Noodle falls off automatically. Grab your fish. Good Pretty one. Good fish. Good one. Pretty good fish. Of course, the K heel hook right down inside the mouth. Easy, easy catch. Easy on the hook. That's it. Back again, and um, of course we got some more noodle action going on. Uh, I got my pole ready. Uh, 
got to tilt in the direction that I want to hook the noodle. That's very important. That pretty much ensures you get it on the first pass. Of course, if you miss it on the first pass, just try it again. Uh, as you can see, the noodle has got a lot of action to it. Stands up. Right now, he's just pulling. He's been pulling for a pretty good while, so he may be tiring out. But anyway, what you want to do is stick the pole out with your hook toward the noodle. Of course, I'm using my trolling motor right now. He's a little fast. Go up under the noodle, pull up. You got your piece. Like I said, he's a little tired. Of course, always net you, your fish. Oh my gosh, we got us a good one. Seen it, he went under. <laughs> Look at that. We got us a good one here, y'all. He's a good one. He's a good one. Anything take a noodle on it that long, he's a good one. Keep it on the noodle, Sandy. He has really been pulling on this noodle. So let's see what he is. We're going to reach out here with the tip in the right direction, the hook. Reach up under him. Y'all look at him. Look at him, y'all. Now that's a fish. That is a fish. Caught on the jug pole. My goodness. That's a good one. That is a good one. Wow. I knew he was, when he pulls up, when he takes one under that long, it wasn't that long, but he took it under about two feet deep. That's normally a good one, but he's gonna come back up. He's gonna come back up, unless he's a real big one, and then that's just a chance to take. That's a good fish. That's pushing four and a half pounds, maybe. <laughs>